Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome to Legion Reacts, episode number 308, and you're going, going oh, whoa, wait, haven't we seen 308 before, and then again, and then now, now, yes you have. There was a few problems with the two previous videos, um, I had to take them down, delete them, uh, Legion React videos, I don't, I don't save because I don't port them to other platforms, it's one of the only ones I don't. Because it's it's more fun content, and you, YouTube usually kind of you know doesn't have a problem with it. It's not like talking politics or maybe talking about uh, the new Star Wars show or something like that. Uh, so I had to take them down, and now I get to record them again. So uh, what we're going to be looking at is one of my favorite songs, "The Goo Goo Dolls," "Black Balloon." It's the official music video. I love this song. The Goo Goo Dolls was my, literally this album, this album was the very first that uh, I ever owned because it was bought for me. I'm going to... I had no time to mute. I'm so sorry. I'm so, I'm so sorry. I had no time to mute. It's one of those things you're like... <sighs> And it's like you're scrambling for the mouse. All right. This is one of the first albums I ever actually, I didn't buy, but it was, it was the first album, see the CD that my, I was given for Christmas because I had just, um, no, I hadn't started driving. I was, I was going to be driving soon. I was 15. I love this song. And it's one of those things that uh, ma many, many people that I've, I've talked to over the years uh, love this song. And, uh, you know, I, 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 I and, and it's it's a great song. I've shared it with many people. I've shared it with somebody not even that long ago because, you know, she liked that song, too. It's a very, very good song. It's a very heartfelt song. I'm going to shut up because we're at two minutes and 30 seconds. I got to put the overlay, guys. I'm so sorry. It's just the way it is. It, it keeps it keeps you the YouTube copyright claims off my heels. Here we go. Okay, so starting this video off, um, th this video starts off, and and literally, the way it's projected is that the smoke coming out of her mouth, the the um, the balloon, um, I'm sorry, the 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 bubble blower, the way it's dropped, it's kind of acted like it's alluded to that it, that it might be a methamphetamine pipe the way the way it's done and the way it, it floats up because she's she's and, and and it's not just a she it's a she in this this music video right it's um you know every, every there are so many people on this planet who struggle with all kinds of addictions uh caffeine you know sugar uh alcohol uh, tobacco uh vaping uh just standard drugs um overeating like <laughs> this country uh we you know so anyway it, it's but this is one example that i think was dear near and dear to the goo goo dolls at this time and and that's why they alluded to it being something of a crack pipe Baby's black balloon. Almost fell into that hole in the light. You know what thinking about tomorrow Cause you were the same as me But I So uh, again the the balloon represents being trapped and the way he says you are the same as me but on your knees it means that you, 
that I've struggled in a very similar way that you have struggled. But I, but he's, he sees the way out now, or maybe he's made his way out now. And he sees somebody who, who he loves could be a, a family member, a sister, um, a significant other walking down the same road or just, or just somebody he met as a stranger who was trying to seek help. Because again, you know, you know, alcoholics anonymous, um, all those kind of things are out there for people to get help. I've suffered from alcohol addiction. I've said that more than once. And it's something that I will always struggle with. I will always struggle with. And when, when things have been awful, it was so much easier to, to crawl inside a bottle than to actually deal with it. And it doesn't get you anywhere. It doesn't get you anywhere. It, it makes things so much worse. It makes things so much worse. You treat people horribly and you say horrible things to them. And these are people who love you that you say them to. Because we, we treat the people we love the worst. And that's just, unfortunately, human nature. I wish it wasn't, but it really, really, really is. A thousand other boys can never reach you. The world's beneath you yeah. and scattered like I guess it's a boon. It was your world. world. Coming down from the world to move over. Dangerous folk all around you. And I actually want to. I want to actually want to pause it there. Um, the quality jumped up. I didn't do that. Okay. Oh no, no. I I actually did. Uh, I actually put the subtitles on the the first time. I didn't do it this time. So basically, when when he says a thousand other boys could never reach you, and that's why I think it's a romantic song. It's about somebody he loves or somebody he fell in love with, and seeing what they're struggling through. And understanding that he's been through something very similar and wanting it to help because a thousand other boys never reached you. How could I have been the one? That's a hard question. It's a hard question to ask for anybody because, quite frankly, we as human beings, we, you know, we connect with people in, in a certain way that we, we just don't understand sometimes. We, we, we don't understand why this person gets us why this person might say something and it kind of freaks you out a little bit because you're like that's it's what you're thinking it's it's what's inside of you but they can see that and and again this 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 whole entire scene is 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 about him see him seeing what is going on him seeing what's going on with her she's in the pool she's in the pool and it represents kind of like being lost or or being pulled under into this thing that has enveloped you and there's not just not just her there's other men there's other women there there are so many people who are lost in this ocean who are on the verge of being pulled under and and it ultimately you know um so anyway And it says right here, someone knows the lies that always told you. There, there are other people who are, who are in the same position. They're, they're hurt. They're hurting. They're, they're doing, dealing with this or that or whatever is going on. And they enable you and you enable them. And it's like, you're locked. 
they're lying to each other. And 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 when when I was when I was an alcoholic, I still am an alcoholic. I'll always be an alcoholic. When I was an alcoholic, I was lying to myself. I'm like, I have this under control. I don't need help. I don't I don't need to go to a meeting. I don't need to talk to other people who have who have who have ruined their lives to understand this. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Because because these are people who see who see what you've done, who see the road you've walked. And they're like, they might be 50 steps ahead, or they might be 10 steps ahead, or one step ahead, but they've seen, or they might be five miles ahead. But people who are in the middle of this situation, they lie to each other and they lie to themselves. And I've done it to me. When the love you never knew Was the things they never showed you The twilight And, and you're seeing the, the, the compare and contrast, right? Like, because he's rolling in the crowd of singing. And that, that's his new high. That's, that's his new step for his new thing. to. And, and Joe Rogan talks about this, too. He, he, he's hardcore addicted to, like, video games. Uh, like, Quake, to be most frank. He's like, oh yeah, no, I, I can't, I can't play video games. He's like, I'll, I'll, I'll do it ten hours a day. I can't do it. And so he puts his addiction into something else, like mar martial arts and podcasting and stuff like that, and and hunting and getting better. And so you see where he's transitioned to try to put what he's learned into something else, to where the person he loves is still swimming underneath the waves and it's symbolic of the fact that you can you can swim there for a while but eventually eventually it's going to get you what whatever whatever is ailing you is going to get you and again coming from somebody who understands and who still struggles with it to this day i get it it's much more fun to, to um, you know, hold your breath underneath the waves and spin around and feel free and feel good, and then to come up for air and and face the re you know reality. And again, the symbolism, he gets lost in the crowd of people loving the music. She's falling under into, into the water of where she won't be lifted back up. And this, this, this video, um, I never understood as a kid the power of this video, or the power of this song. I do now. I've been around the block a few times. I've had friends with drinking problems, drug problems. Um, I've had friends who've had relationship problems, and I've and, you know, and I've I've seen people get better, and I've seen, unfortunately, majority of veterans not make it back out, and they're no longer with us, and it and it kind of makes me sad, makes me really sad.
And he says, I'll lead you home all because you became to me. Basically saying that. Well, you know what? I, I won't. I won't. It, it's something that I'll that I interpret for myself. And it's something that that's in, interpreted for each and every one of us. It's not for me to say. Yeah, dizzy up the girl. So it's um, Black Balloon is such an underrated song. Yeah. Johnny wrote great songs, talented wordsmith. Yeah, I'm I'm telling you, there's something about '90s music that calms the soul. Also, it 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 lights the soul up. It lights the soul up because it can it really can speak to your heart sometimes. And I think the one of the a lot of the the music in today's world that that does that. And I I even think it's minuscule is is country music. There's a lot of modern country music is the one of the only ones that I could actually can still kind of appeal to the soul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had to re-record it, um, you know, due to some issues and stuff like that with, um, you know, and um, so I had to delete the original. I think this one was more in depth and better wor worded. And, you know, because I had time to think about the fact that the way it needed to be said. And I appreciate you guys for watching this. I love this song. I've shared this song with people who who mean so much to me because it's a great song and they of course it's a song they love too and i'm reaching the point where the 90s is so far away that that we're feel that i feel older and older thank you for everything guys 